hi babe welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be taking you through another day in my life i start out by you know we struggle to get up then we say our prayers make our bed and after i make my bed i head over to the bathroom to go do the number one after i'm done doing that i proceed to brushing my teeth after brushing my teeth it's time to walk out i head over to the living room and i walk out for about 30 minutes to one hour and on days where i have extra time i tend to walk out for about one hour 30 minutes but of late i haven't been able to walk out for so long so i just do at least 30 minutes to 40 minutes exercise on a daily hiit hiit workout or i'll do jump ropes and i'll also do abs workouts and some butt workouts hey guys yeah i'm done with my workout now i'm gonna go take my bath and start prepping my breakfast in between let me take you guys to the kitchen <sighs> okay now we are in the kitchen i want to get my boots show you how i make my vegan oatmeal pancakes without eggs or milk so let's start so i'm standing out with my dates i just um took it out from the nylon which it was in and now i'm trying to rinse it out just trying to make sure i wash it really well because hmm, the uh, the are bulky people that i bought these dates from the are bulky people are like the traders who tend to sell sell it they are known to be very dirty so you want to make sure you wash your dates very well and now I just put it on the fire. I'm gonna be adding some water to the pots because the water is what is going to help me boil the date. The essence of cooking the date is just to soften it. So when I want to blend it, it's easy for me to blend it. I'm prepping the dates now for my oatmeal pancakes while I go take my bath. But I'm gonna show you guys how I make my oatmeal pancakes today. I'm gonna have this light. You know how electricity bills are so it's so expensive in Lagos. In fact, I think all over Nigeria right now. So of course, when you're not in the room, you have I always have to turn off the lights so as to just um save energy. So guys, let me take out my workout clothes and go and freshen up. I'll see you guys when I'm back. So guys, now our uh, date is soft. I can safely turn off the gas now and just you see that water. I'm not carrying that water either. I'm just gonna sieve it aside. I'm going to use it in blending the dates, the flesh of the dates. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start um, peeling off the dates just to take out the seeds. Because you know the seeds are strong. You don't want to blend the dates with the seeds. So I'm just removing the seeds and taking out the flesh. When I'm done doing that, I'm just going to transfer what I have to the blender. And I'm going to add that liquid which I kept aside. I'll just add that liquid to the blender and possibly also add water to it. Then I can now proceed to blending the dates. So guys, I think now we have a smooth consistency. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, that's what blended it looks like. I'm just turning it in, into that plate so that I can store the excess. So to make my dates pancakes, I always use, rather oatmeal pancakes, I always use dates and banana and of course oatmeal flour and um, olive oil coconut oil whichever whichever of the oils you have so i just poured the dates and rinsed out the blender and just poured it into that bowl so now i'm just adding some olive oil to my frying pan while the frying pan is being heated up so i, I already dropped in that one banana into that bowl and i'm also putting the oat flour i just use like one cup or less than one cup of the oat flour like half of a cup of flour that's the oatmeal flour so I'm just blending, mashing the banana in and just stirring it, stirring in the mixture to ensure that its consistency is smooth but yet thick. I like my pancakes thick, that's why I like this um, thick consistency I have here, unlike the running one. So our fine pan is hot now and ready. I'm just spreading the oil all over just to ensure the entire um, circumference of this fine pan is well oiled. Now I'm just dropping the pancakes into the pan and i'm trying to form like a small circle with the oatmeal pancakes yeah i'm just putting the last one in the center of the pan there while i just let it sit on the frying pan and cook 
now it's beginning to dry up a bit i think very soon i need to reach out for my pan my spine and then you know rather and start to turn it around i'm gonna start flipping it over so that this part on top can start to cook or rather fry you can see how it looks guys if you can make oatmeal pancakes you don't have to buy bread anymore and the beauty of oatmeal, oatmeal is that oatmeal is healthy, it's good for your heart. So this is a very, very healthy breakfast option. You can have oatmeal with tea, green tea, Lipton, whatever type of tea you like, coffee. It's a very healthy breakfast option. I, I absolutely love oatmeal pancakes. And the dates make it so delicious. So if you're looking for something healthy to add to your breakfast options, then I'll definitely advise you add some oatmeal pancakes. You would absolutely love it, especially when you make it with dates because dates is a great sweetener. You don't need honey for your pancakes. You don't need any ma maple syrup. Yeah. While I'm eating my pancakes, I'm just trying to start my system. What I love about working from home is I don't have to deal with the struggle to get to the office. That's Lagos traffic. Because of course, you know, I live in Lagos, Nigeria and the traffic most days it's usually insane so i'm never ready to win with that today and of course my boss is still on leave so i can afford to work from home until let's see on wednesday then i'll be back in the office so guys an integral part of my day is working with microsoft outlook and on microsoft outlook it's the platform we tend to use for all of our emails so right now I want to start responding to emails. I want to start um, scheduling meetings for my boss. And I also want to um, uh, also handle my accounting part, the accounting part of my job, which is um, responding to invoices, checking the invoices. The ones that have errors in them, I have to let the vendors know that, okay, you didn't, you didn't include your VAT or there's a PO mismatch or there's a WCC mismatch, you know, those kind of information, just to let the vendor know. And if they are inquiring to know the status of their payments, I'll also let them know and you know, stuff like that. So that's how the work goes. And um, let me get right into it, guys, <laughs> after I'm done with my food. So a part of being an admin assistant is you need to always be ready. You, you need to always be ready to serve whoever might need your service or just need your help. So you need to also know how to book um, flight tickets. You need to make be able to make travel arrangements, liaise with other people within the organization. It could be the travel department and, um, you know, the logistic team also to be able to arrange for smooth stay for him while he's away on his business trip. So guys, that's an integral part of being an admin assistant. Good morning, sir. So you need to be able to compose emails. You literally just wear your waist chain now while you are home and even have the time to even goof around like i'm doing right now <laughs> i need to incorporate waist training when i can because really i don't like pain i don't like discomfort so most times i forget to wear the waist trainer but then if you are waist training it's expected that you wear your waist trainer every day but i tend to wear my own like every two days or sometimes every three days but either ways i work out so I don't think I have to kill myself or because I want to have a flat tummy. Yeah. One of the issues I have with working from home is electricity because most times there might not be light all through the day in Lagos, Nigeria. So right now I don't have light and I'm actually using my phone for data and my battery is low. I oh god. It's either I have to put on my generator now to power to charge my phone or i choose to pack my bags drive all the way down to the office and um, walk from the office and then come back home to sleep but the stress of having to drive down to the office for probably 30 minutes i'll get to the office in like, at most 40 minutes and then coming back home will probably take me like another one hour plus so my time to money which do i value more oh, guys i think i just have to get my usb cord and plug my connect my usb cord to my phone and just continue working from home yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> At this time now, it's already PPM. I'm just snacking on mangoes, but after I ate the mangoes, I was still hungry, so I reached out for rice. Yeah, I have rice and chicken sauce. 
chicken vegetable sauce i'm just heating it up in a microwave so i can proceed to having lunch it's almost for 3 30. it's almost 3 30 and i'm having um bashmatic rice and um vegetable sauce <sighs> really hungry so i don't know i think i mentioned in my previous videos my previous video that i tend to meal prep my meals i tend to meal prep my food i just cook probably in the weekends and i store all of the food in the fridge that's how i'm able to make sure i always have something to eat in the house and my folks to also have something to eat mm. Oh, come on, join me, guys. Pretty nice. I sprinkled some pepper on the rice because I like pepper. Hmm. In between having lunch, there were emails, some very urgent emails. And part of what I do is I also have to help people chase for approvals with my boss. So when she approves certain um, documents, I would then um, append her signature and then send it to them. And then I could also help them to chase for approvals with other um, functional heads for various departments or for like my my oga zoga something like that. Do you, do you get my like for my boss's boss? I could also help them chase for approvals with their assistants just so that they could get their documents in a timely manner. So that's part of what we do as assistants. We just help um, people in the team, you know, just help them get their stuff done faster. That's why. <laughs> you are there to help them guys lunch done i couldn't eat the chicken of course for some reason i haven't i haven't really gotten back into eating meat especially meat that now feels like it's kind of wet as in now <laughs> i'll literally be feeling like i'm actually eating a live chicken i can't i just can't guys right now the time is 5 22 it's almost 5 30 now i can safely close my laptop and go out for a break i want to go buy four for the house and also buy four for my car because tomorrow i'm working in the office my boss is using me tomorrow my amazing boss guys <laughs> i don't want to even talk too much about my boss but i actually i love her you can imagine loving your boss <laughs> she's like my second mom okay guys so i have to make sure i leave the house latest seven o'clock on the dot just to ensure that I do, i'm not stuck in traffic anywhere i can even leave the house at 6 30 that would also be great i mean the office early i settle in early i make sure office is clean on time and um i can just sit down and start to do my work pending when she comes i might just take you around and show you guys no i don't think i'll be showing the office because it's inappropriate but most of the things i tend to do when i get to the office first thing in the morning is i make sure office is clean and i also um uh, ensure that everything is okay i put on an ac i just i just set the tone for her to ensure that everything is in place for her i heat up water for her so when she comes in and she wants to have tea she has hot water ready for her to make tea and then i also ensure that she has um, basic supplies like milk biscuit coffee green tea lipton you know all of all those um stuffs available for her in the office so that's basically what i'll be doing tomorrow morning while i when i get to the office but so guys if you enjoyed watching another day in my life working from home please make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up like it share it and please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed i love you and i'll see you in my next video and please if you have any questions you want to know more about the administ administrative assistant role you know you have any questions just let me know in the comment section and i'll be glad to respond to you as soon as i possibly can i'll see you in my next video guys love you